Well, hello everyone, my name is welcome to Mystery Case Files, The Black Veil. Oh, very excited to start this new game demo, guys. Very, very excited. And that's why we have an emergency stream right now. So here we go, guys. Let's play. Hey, welcome, Joe. This is Alison Sterling reporting for Strayer Times. I'm in the small Scottish town of Dredmond, where people are fleeing in massive numbers. Locals say mysterious illness has caused rapid aging. The town is full of abandoned vehicles and suitcases. It's Unbelievable! As we both know, Master Detective, unbelievable has become your calling card. We can only rely on you to get to the bottom of such a perplexing mystery. Okay, so here we are. Someone's driving the ambulance. They would go over the cliff unless I do something. What was that about, guys? The person who ran away. That was a driver. Don't come to dream on. <laughs> I'm used to feeling unwelcome by now. Definitely one way detour. And someone left this bag behind. Wow. Uh, a box of chalk? Color chalk. I am excited. Hey, Melissa, hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm too short to wish that. When all chips are down, seven years of bad luck is chunk change considering my career. <laughs> seven years bad luck. Wow. What do we do now? Rubber band. Uh, we have a ranch. Thank God. The door is locked and this van is about to go over. Allison didn't grow out of a pension for trouble since Die Grove. I uh, need to get her out of this death trap. I don't remember her, guys. She is from Die Grove. So the person who ran away is definitely the driver then. <laughs> Broken key. The driver of that emergency vehicle. He ran away. Why? I can feel the van moving. Okay, I'm trying my best here, but uh, it's time for a puzzle. <laughs> Select and place the grid fragments in the correct position on the plate. All grid fragments must be used. Every single one. That looks like the end. Um, let's put that here. Okay, this looks tough. <laughs> I'm not ready for a tough puzzle. We just got here, guys. Uh... Okay, let's not put that at the side. Oh, that one fits perfectly. Nice. Maybe that one? Probably not. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go, guys. There we go. Done. Haven't even taken an honest crack in this case, and already I had a close call. Phew. Well, here you are again. Coming to my rescue. Just like back in Dire Grove. What was it? Nearly a decade ago? A decade ago? Okay, that explains why I don't remember you. <laughs> a decade ago. You are officially my guardian angel, detective. 
Though I'd bet this isn't a chance encounter. If you're here to investigate what's going on, maybe I can pay you back with information. Follow me. All right. Tell me what's going on, please. <laughs> Allison is here to jump out of the frying pan into the fire. I'll have to gather information as we go. You left your bag behind, Allison. Dramon preserved most of his medieval structure. Yeah, they look like castle. Castle towers. Castle buildings. A friend of mine from high school, Maggie Sharp, lives somewhere in Newlywed Square. I just need to find her address. <laughs> Those are very strange names. I'm not just gonna stand idle and stomp miles out. Maggie Sharp's house shouldn't be a stretch to find. Dreadmon. Oh, Newlywed? <laughs> what? Very weird names. Oh, what a space cadet. Where did I put Maggie's address? In your bag. Such a key surely doesn't match this dreadful suitcase. Nobody in the right mind would find the design appealing. What is wrong with her, guys? Choosing a design like this. What is wrong? What treasure drop ho horrific secrets do you hide, I wonder? Looks like a monster chest. <laughs> it's gonna come alive any minute now, guys. Don't think these cables are meant to be part of the statue's artistic flair. Are those pipes? Stroke of death is as lover's pinch, which hurts and is desired. William Shakespeare. Okay, uh, which play is this from? I don't recall. I don't remember this. Those words are fitting. Bars often wrote about love and death. Yeah. <laughs> what else can they write about? Two and four. Two and three. Two and five. I'm sure there's a way to figure out which house is Maggie's. Just try the key. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if I could bring color back to this weathered mailbox, why? Ah, there are names. Winton. Not that one. Donovan. Donovan. Nope. Maggie Sharp. You're way ahead of me, Detective. But maybe I should go first. I'm a familiar face. Henry, is it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not interested in buying any wares. I feel quite out of sorts today. I'd recognize those eyes anywhere. That's definitely Maggie Sharp. Only 60 years older than she should be. Get us in there, Detective. Breaking and entering isn't part of my job description. So yeah, those wrinkles on her face are a bit odd. It's like they're artificial wrinkles. <laughs> they're stretching vertically, you know? Those look very odd. Okay, uh, I can't reach the lock, but it's out of my view. We need some help here, guys. Okay, Galloway Estate. Let's go take a look. The mansion was built to overlook Dramon. It must have belonged to the town's lordship. A gate without a contraption with millions of pieces to solve, impossible. <laughs> Thank you for paying for my daughter's operation. We'll be lost without you. Hmm, the owner of the manor sounds very generous. The community of Dramon, thank you for repairing the water supply depot. It's dangerous when such a remote town doesn't have a good water supply. Your donation for our roof renovation means the world to my family, Mr. Galloway. You truly live up to your great grandfather's name. I don't know. Um, from the looks of this, he sounds like a very generous man, but um, there's something else. I'm sure there's something else. 
There's something sinister going on. He's too generous, if you ask me. <laughs> hey Sue, hello, welcome. Could this be the handiwork of the child? I wonder where he's up to. The child? Wait, what? Which child? What are you talking about? <laughs> the broken speakers haunt me more relentlessly than ghost scorned. The Galloway said not check the mail for quite some time. So this place has been abandoned, I guess. But the lights are on. <laughs> the lights are on. So something weird going on inside the place. Slingshot. We need a pebble, guys. Where do you find a pebble? I don't know. Just use it without a pebble, without a rock? Oh, come on. Is that blood or rust? Ah, uh, mirror piece. I bet I can guess the right combination. So three logs. Or a sequence of three. One. Two. Three. That is a weird door log. Sorry to barge in, Maggie, but the master detective and I are here to help. It's me, Allison Sterling. Do you remember? From school? No, I... When was that? Now she still has a very young voice, but her face is all wrinkled up. So what happened? You really don't remember? You were a transfer student in the States for two years. We even took a graduation photo together. A graduation photo isn't something that typically lies in hands reach. I must have to sniff around for a bit. Her place look odd. She is supposed to be the same age as uh, Allison here, but um, this place, this house, looks like an old lady's house. Henry, autumn's getting colder by the day, so we need to keep the fireplace burning. You have to find another place to play. Another place to play? How old is this Henry? Her son Henry isn't here. Hope she managed to get him out of Dreamon. Dramon. And could it be that the lead won't work without the other marble? The black screen was overly created when he forged this. 